uh, I'll show to I'll show you today how to make up a a concave bearing. Not really make one from raw materials, but make your flat bearing into a concave bearing. This is a sample of what I made. Uh, this is a yo-yo jam speed bearing, and then I concaved it. What I use is a Dremel. You can use a a drill, but that makes it more difficult. Uh, a Dremel is more easier to handle. It's lightweight. Yeah, that's my Dremel. So here's the setup. Um, so this silver shiny thing in the middle is the bearing and then this you can use a washer or a coin with a hole in the middle that's fine that will work and then this green thing you see is placed in the, cen uh, in the center in between is a rubber piece of rubber uh, a, a flat rubber you can use any type of rubber you can use this I got this from a what do you call this? Uh, this is a rubber uh, cap from from a vial or a any form of rubber that, that's flat. You can cut it in a way that it'll form a donut shape, just like this. It should be shaped like this, and you splice it in the center. The purpose of putting rubber there is that, well, you're working with a bearing, and then the outside metal part of the bearing is always going to spin and then that, that makes the outer diameter hold in place so it's not going to spin when when this this thing starts spinning you probably understand what I mean and uh, yeah so these two bronze colored things are coins with holes in the middle you can use a washer that's fine to use uh, so this is what you need to do. This is the setup. This is a metal axle I got from from this Dremel. It, it comes in a set with with this tiny stuff. So this is what we use. Um, you put a washer first, and then the bearing, and then a rubber there and then another washer so that's how how this will turn out to be and what one important thing you'll need is that since this axle for for that um, for that Dremel is quite small you'll see that this thing will come shaky this the bearing will come shaky when you put it in there so you'll also need another thing. It's a rubber tube. Uh, you can find this in in hardware shops, rubber tubes, or uh, yeah, from a from a piece of wire just cut off. Just make sure that the the wire is gonna fit snugly into the bearing, uh, like that. Snugly, it's gonna. It's going to need to fit it in there tight. This is to make sure that when you insert the bearing in there, the bearing is not going to come shaky. Because if you don't, it's going to wobble. And your bearing is not going to be very perfect when, when after it's done. So here's what you do. So there's this. Um, I, I put a rubber, what do you call this? Rubber o-ring in there to make sure it's gonna fit in tightly you want to make sure it's tight and then when you spin it uh, when you make it spin you want to make sure that it's not gonna vibrate or wobble like that it, it spins nicely it doesn't really wobble and then when it's well I got this thing plugged see it's plugged plugged into the wall and then uh, so that's what I do when it's spliced, you simply tune it in a way that it doesn't really wobble or vibe too much. Because you want to make sure that your bearing goes out perfectly. Of course, it comes with practice. So, 
So there you have it. When when you get this setup done, you just get yourself a grinding stone. I found this somewhere I forgot, but uh, this is a nice grinding stone. You can use a metal file or probably a a any anything that can grind metal, basically grinding stone. Yeah, that works perfect. So when you make it start spinning. You start. You just keep it in there. You just keep it in there, spinning. This is a yo-yo factory bearing, and then it's gonna take a while before I could really make it concave. Probably three hours or two hours doing this. This this. Yeah. I'll continue this until it becomes concave. It'll turn out like this. Uh, of course, it'll save you money if you make your own concave bearings and just buy concave bearings out there. Uh, Nefio's concave bearings are nice, but they're, they're pretty much the same bearings, and you probably just want to save a lot of money in buying those. You can make one your own, and that'll be a lot perfect. Uh, they're about the same kind. Those bearings out there you buy are probably uh, well, there's still about eight ball bearings, and, and these yo-yo jam bearings are still eight ball bearings. One thing you also need to remember is that the outer metal that's spinning when you see the outer part of this bearing, this this outer part or outer shell is not as thick as the uh, the Fio concave bearings. So you want to make sure that these, when you make it concave, you you don't want to shred too much metal and it just, you don't want to end up damaging your bearing uh, you probably see forums they're gonna say um, when you concave bearings you want to make sure that you put lube inside it so it doesn't overheat but I, I don't really think so it, um, it's, it's just with the care that you do you just touch it in a little while if it becomes too hot then you let it cool a little bit and then you start uh, shredding it again you get a nice concave until you get a nice concave finish in the outer side it's not gonna be as, very smooth as, as how it was I mean the the outer shell of this bearing the outer uh, shell of this bearing is not gonna be very smooth as, as how it was in the first place but this will save you a lot of money to buying bearings so that's that's my video in making bearings have fun.